I mastered the art of gathering scrap and progressing as a solo on Vanilla Rust. By carefully selecting my build location and applying a few simple strategies, I managed to have a chill solo experience on Forcewipe. And not only that, I was playing on an official Rust server with 299 other players competing against me. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy watching the highs and lows of this solo journey. Hey, what's going on guys? We're playing solo today on official Rust, Force Wipe. I forgot to hit record when I spawned on the beach, so that's why you're seeing me run in the snow. <laughs> but we're heading out to Mining Outpost. I like this spot out here. I'm gonna go check it out. But yeah, I'm excited, man. There's no better feeling than Force Wipe as a solo. Go, go, go. Oh my god. No way. I didn't hear it. I think we're just gonna build over here, man, on this flat spot. Because I don't want to die. Okay, we're using the med syringe, dude. Okay, I think we've got enough space here. I was worried that it would be... The slot would be too much. Oh, man, we get a TC down. Get a box down. I'd had a smooth run across the map to Mining Outpost, which was deep in the snow and not immediately close to any of the larger monuments, but definitely accessible if I was willing to go for a short run. I'd built literally as close to Mining Outpost as building privilege would allow, and planned to control the Mining Outpost from the get-go and get established before any other players had the chance to move in. For now, I at least had a base to operate out of, but didn't have enough cloth for a sleeping bag inside my base, so I went out to start farming some comps. Yeah, I need farm, but first of all, I want to try and get a bag down. Need to get some cloth. Hmm. It's going to be interesting if, uh, if I can't find any cloth before I freeze to death. give that a little recycle so yeah my plan is to like to be honest i don't think there'll be many people building out here early on this wipe it's kind of isolated so i'm gonna try and take advantage of that and use this this mining outpost to really progress quick that's the plan anyway that's the plan Building in the untouched snow biome, there are a ton of nodes around, so I took out the pickaxe to farm them all. Much health to have three. <laughs> Gonna get a bag down. 
on the opposite side of Mining Outpost here. Ooh, I feel like that island over there could be good for farming too. This is promising, man. It's promising. Ooh, hello. Ooh, there's a bear down there. Man, bear rug's actually really helpful. So I can heal up cheaply, get the comfort up. Oh, that's a good little run. We'll upgrade all. Nice, we're completely stone. Hell oh, yeah. It's got the bear rug. Hmm. If I could get that bear, that'd be super helpful. Okay, we could actually get a little tier one down. Get some storage going. Wait out the night here. And when morning comes, I'm gonna go find that bear. That'd be pretty huge. Some cold protection, get some furnaces going. That's a good little start. I sat in my base to see out the cold night. And when morning came, I took out my trusty bow in search of a polar bear. Oh man, I'm so happy I killed that naked. I had the bear rug. It's gonna make life so much easier for me. Being able to heal up just by eating a little morsel of human meat. That's a that's a life hack, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, I think it's daytime. That nighttime actually went kind of fast. It's normally the opposite. Okay, we're after a bear. What do you mean? How close do they have to get, dude? It's actually impossible to kill bears in this game, man. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, man. Bears can kill you through fucking trains. Okay. It's outrageous. After a demoralizing defeat, I crafted a nail gun and went back for my revenge. Alright, this bear's mine, man. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm not sure where that other bear got to, but... One bear will do for me. Should be enough for a furnace. I might even tech tree metal tools, I think. Probably a worthwhile BP to have early on if I don't get lucky and find one. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> feels good to get that home. So that's kind of handy. Okay, let's get a bit of wood. Might even take that um, fuse and green card over to satellite.
Man, these boxes coming back too quick. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of handy. If I want to build a compound, it's going to be useful. But we're going to see how we go first. <laughs> I always have these big aspirations and then I like struggle to get a tier one. But hey, we've already got a tier one, so no big deal. I now had a good little start. With an airlocked stone base and enough resources to fall back on if I died, it was time to start farming up to expand the base. Today I was building an absolute classic solo base design, which some of you may be familiar with. If you do know, let me know how early into the video you worked it out. I didn't know it at this point, but I'd definitely exceed my expectations for this wipe in the base building department. Ah, oh, this is so peaceful out here right now. And I hope it stays like that. I might have just jinxed myself, man. Another SMG, buddy. Rifle, buddy. We just gotta get lucky. Find a weapon in one of those boxes. Oh. Pipey's decent. Nice. <laughs> Need some ambiance up in here. I think a lot of you guys will uh, notice pretty early on what base I'm building today. It's one of my all-time, all-time favorites. Yeah, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty decent start so far. Pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. Are we looking to get to that ladder? 125. I think we might be able to. Yeah, let's learn that. This is so good. Another 90 scrap. Solid. Oh god. Gonna need to jump up. <laughs> Oof. That would have been embarrassing. When daytime came, I started to expand the second floor. Solid. And we'll seal this in. Uh, I think this seals right in. No, that's wrong. Seal this in. Gonna destroy that. And then this is a double door here. Hell yeah. And then if I put this here, is that going to be annoying? <laughs> Looks a bit dumb, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we need wood. Let's fill up these furnaces. Got to keep them going today. Man, crates are back already. <laughs> it's been like four minutes. Let's go for a little roam, check out the area. Ooh, do I take the green card? We'll take the green card and um, fuse. Go have a look at satellite. I feel like that's gonna be a busy, busy spot. This area was turning out to be exactly what I was looking for. 
and after only an hour and a half, I had over 300 scrap and a ton of spare components. But I wanted to see what else this side of the map had on offer. So I took a green card and fuse over to satellite with the hope of scoring some higher tier loot and a blue card. Hmm. It's, it's not a short run. That's for sure. Imagine if I get a Jackie or something. Chainsaw. That'd be the dream. Got crates. So that's the tunnel entrance just there. That's not too far, really. Might give it a little, like, peek with the binox first before we head down there. I think we're good, man. I'm going for a run. Fuck it. <laughs> mm, I think it's already been done. Alright, let's get out of here. Grab this crate and we are out of here. Holy fuck. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, I spent so much time flapping about, man. Too much flapping. That run went about as I expected, but as a solo, it's important to dust yourself off and get back to work. Ooh. Let's get a teammate. Is this the beginning of the door camping? <laughs> That'll be the guys like over the hill that I saw building near where I killed that bear. No. This wouldn't last for long, man. Having this to myself. <laughs> Let's see how close this base is. I feel like it's pretty close. Yeah, just over there. <laughs> the sniper. You're good, bro. I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad for killing that dude. Which I shouldn't, like. But you know, could have had a little bit of mercy here and there, man. Now that there were some other players in the area, I thought that honeycombing my base would be a good place to start. I think now if I sheet metal part of the inside of the base, it should be invisible from outside. Nice one. Nice man. Sheet metal TC core. Let's get another couple doors down up here too. Fuck me, man. 
It's so annoying, man. I need a gun. I actually need a gun. I'm gonna be on my toes as well. It's a pain in the ass, man. Absolute pain in the ass. Okay, yeah, so you can't see the sheet metal anywhere, which is pretty sweet. Damn. We got some we got some juice, man. We got some juice. How much would it be for Revy? I think it's quite a bit from memory. 490. I mean, it might be worth. And I really do want to try and get garage door tonight for a log. It's probably not a bad call. Now with a sheet metal core with stone honeycomb, my base was strong enough that I could now focus my energy on gathering scrap, with the goal being to tech tree to a weapon and garage door before I had to log off for the night. And with over a thousand scrap after doing a recycle run, things were looking promising for me to achieve that. Okay, let's do one little run along the road and then I gotta jump off for a little bit. Gotta head out to dinner. Dude chasing me. He is still chasing. Oh man, I might be able to jump him here. I'm nervous. Ah, oh, sake, man. It's the guy that killed me over at satellite. I gotta get myself a saw. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the only reason I try to fight that guy. <laughs> like, I knew I was probably gonna lose, but I thought that maybe he had like a sire or something. Maybe I could have got lucky. <laughs> Wishful thinking. I headed out to dinner and returned a short few hours later. That's really annoying. I, um, somehow I managed to stop the recording as soon as I loaded in. I killed some guy over at, um, mining outpost. He was a naked, but he had, like, Asian symbols in his name, and he had quite a bit of scrap. <laughs> he had, like, all this tech trash, suppressor, a couple generators, bits and pieces. Um, and then that peak guy killed me again. He's got Revy now. He's got a duo with him. They're just out hitting nodes with a Jackie right now, so just gonna be a little bit, a little bit careful. Oh man, I mean we killed him, wasn't pretty. My base is in such an obvious location that I really can't hide the fact that I live there, so I might as well just run back, even if they watch me running into my front door. Cool skins though, thanks brother. I'm sure we will have it back within the next like 10 minutes. That's how we're getting a weapon. That's how we're getting a weapon. We're gonna drive into the depths of the ocean and call it in. Hell yeah. Scoring a supply signal was huge for me. This would be a great chance to score a tier 2 weapon and save me a bunch of time, not to mention scrap on the tech tree. Since I'd lost my boat, I prepared a scuba kit. 
and went for a swim to the depths of the ocean to call in the airdrop safely. It's so dodgy. <laughs> it's so dodgy. Oh, I forgot about sharks. <laughs> I'm actually scared of a shark getting me right now. Surely not. Okay. We got a saw. Oh man. We got a saw. And a pumpy. Bro, this is terrifying. I swear if I see a shark right now, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm <laughs> actually gonna shit my pants. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's got a saw. Uh, hell yeah, man. With the insane amount of scrap I'd gathered from regularly looting the mining outposts, I wasted no time learning the saw and some other important tier 2 items, and I still had some scrap left over to tech tree to garage door and craft a tier 2 workbench. This meant that I could start running SAR, which would allow me to roam more confidently. And with the gears I'd collected, I could also craft a bunch of garage doors to fortify my base before logging off for the night. Let's go, man. Dude, last wipe. I don't think I got garage door on day one. <laughs> I don't think I got garage door at all, last wipe. <laughs> Let's go. Take the sire out for a spin. If there's only one way I'm gonna get better, is if I take kids out regularly. It's the only way to do it. I had lost my SAR kit, but I kept my head up, as now I could craft them as I needed. After a death though, I always liked doing something chill, so I farmed some wood and kept expanding my base. I've actually got the uh, reinforced window this way. Soon after that, I was out roaming when I heard some shots over near satellite. real quick <laughs> oh 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, do I try and fight? Oh uh, shit, that's like three, dude. I think I killed one of them. <laughs> so stressful, man. <laughs> so stressful. running from something? Shit. This is my farm island, man. Damn, dude. It's a team as well. It's not just a solo. Get a code lock on their door. say that island is off the cards for farming now sadly After an enjoyable first day of this solo wipe, I increased the door path to my tool cupboard, used some metal frags on upgrading the jump up and roof, threw a cheeky tier 2 in front of the door to my core, and logged off for the night. safe. Nice man, no new bases. Um, dude, look at all the nodes. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, we'll go for a roam and then we're gonna come back and farm all those nodes. Fucking run for a while. Yeah, thanks, bro. It's kind of my strength. Jesus. I should probably just go home. Bro, someone just like flew in, I swear, and stole my recycler. No way. You son of a bitch. Dude. <laughs> Some naked just stole all my comps, man. It's so embarrassing. I don't know if he was like hiding in, in mining outposts, waiting for someone to come recycle. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. 
Bloody nakeds, man. Well, that was pretty embarrassing, but fair play to this sneaky naked. I knew this wouldn't set me back much, so I got back to the grind and ended up adding another floor and more honeycomb to my base. We got another jump up to the roof. That's right. Sweet. Okay, we just whack a door on the top for now so people can't ladder in. Yeah, I need more metal, man. I want to get a compound down, actually. So yeah, I want to like get a compound down, get a few large furnaces down, <laughs> or at least one. Yeah, I can I can guarantee that there's someone planning to raid me. They know that I've had full like control of this mining outpost the whole way, except for that little grub that stole all my all my comps. <laughs> what a dog. That's plenty of box storage, to be honest. Like, I don't really need that much space. Pretty chunky. Looking pretty chunky. Okay. I'm gonna try and snag a green card again from over at Oxum's. Tell you what though, there's a few little like a few little bases around. I think if I did a big recycle, I probably wouldn't be too far from tier three. Which is kind of insane for me. <laughs> this is only like the start of day two. It's definitely like the fastest I progressed as a solo. Ah oh, man, battery. That's what I needed. Ah, oh, that's so good, man. It's actually what I needed. I was gonna learn it on the tech tree. Lucky pickles. After getting some much needed luck from my pickles, I thought I'd go check out the train tunnels over near Satellite. Probably about time to get out of here. So good. So good, dude. It's time to consider a compound, man. I'm gonna tech tree down to furnace because I haven't been able to find one, sadly. And I do need the locker as well. So yeah, we're gonna build a little external gatehouse.
As the day dawned on this weekly server, I laid the foundations for an external gatehouse and tool cupboard. This would serve the purpose of protecting my main tool cupboard and also allow me to eventually turn my humble solo base into a compounded fortress. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up if you did. Take care everyone, I'll see you real soon. If suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on my feet